Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Koji Drex. So this time we are going to be taking a look on how to create a tic tac toe game with Python taken into our framework. So this is how the game is going to look like initially. Your button are going to be disabled until you choose a player mode, either single player or multiplayer, which you can be playing against your friend using the same computer. So now let's check out the single player mode. You could be like single player here, and now you see you're playing against the computer. And now you could just like select. Wow. Now computer just one. And that's just now we have zero one. Yes, hex is zero and letter ho is one, which means you are losing. Right? So you could restart the game again and select single player again and just play against the computer now. You could try to beat the computer now. We have one one. So we have this label here tracking your record. And you could choose to play in a multiplayer mode now. Let us say restart now. Multiplayer mode, and you could see now how it work right so now you can see this and you can end the game by just clicking this button so now to create this project now we are going to be starting from like importing our ticket enter just going to say from the tk enter import i say that we want to import so we're going to import another module yeah called random yes i'm going to also import system so now the first thing we want to have is our window so we want to display our window out now then we just have tk i want to set our geometry to okay let's say 400 by 600 then let's just have our window that tied to us that tool okay so now we can just on our window dot main loop so we could run this and see and see this is what our window looks like so what's the next thing now we have to start arranging our frame and see so there are some variables i would like to like define first i would like to have like something like okay i like to have height set it to and with set to five okay so now i have to have my label which is the first label now let's have it as label then I want it to be a child of the window i want the text to be tick tack sorry tick tack two so let's give it some Okay, let's give it a font to make it look nice. So just our times, sorry. So we have 40 bold. Then let's make the color green. Okay, I think that was alright. So now let's pack our label dot pack. So what else? So we want to have a frame, let's say, let me call this top frame. So this is frame and I'll be a child of the window. And let's have the width to be 100. So let's say, top frame dot back now. Side, okay, let's say the side to top. Okay, let's say the set to top and let's say part y. Let's say part y equals to 10. Okay. So now it's not that visible now, but let's start setting our single player multiplayer button. So I can just say single single button. Let's just say BTN like that equals to button. So let's put this as a child of top frame. Then it takes equals to single single player. And let's have the width as ten. So now let's pack this up. Okay. 
let's have the side to be left and part hex let's have that to be 10 so we could just copy this same thing and paste it configure it for our multiplayer button so i'll change this to multi okay change this to multi to multi okay so but i want this to be multi yeah this will be multiplayer and yes everything same thing so i would like to have another frame for my button i just call this frame then let's put it as let's put the paint as window then let's have the height yeah let the height be 100 okay let's have the width of 2 as 100 so it can be in form of a square and let's have the background so now let's say the background is okay hmm. Oh, there's no need for background here. So, after that, after that, okay, let's pack our frame. Let's pack. So now I'm packing the frame and. So what we're going to do now is simply have our button one. They want to make it dot grid. So now I want to define the row. I want it to be on row zero, then the colon. The colon should be two, it should be on row zero. That's all we want. So we could just like duplicate this. So let's give it eight more times. Okay, I think that should be all right. So we have button two, button three, button four, 5, 14, 6, button 7, button 8, button 9. So now, this first three will be on row 0, then next three, row 1, then row 2. Sorry. So now, our colon should be 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, oh, 0, 1, 2. One, two. So it's going to be like this. So now, after this, what we want to have is our lower frame. So we want to have a lower frame after this, and our lower frame should be frame. Then it should be a child of window. Then the width, we want the width to be ten. So let's pack this.
So let's give you the part y of 10. So now, we want to have our restart button. So restart button equals to, we have button, then we are going to make it a child of our lower frame. They want the text to be equal to restart. So now the text will be equal to restart and we want the width to be we want the width to be 10. So now let's pack this. So we can pack this and just make sure, okay, let's give it a side of left. Then part x equals to 10. So let's duplicate this to have our end button to end the game. So so graph end. So and here too should be end. Okay. So let's put this to the right. Yes, we give it that. So next thing we want to do now is have our score label. So we could just define score label. Then we set it equals to frame. Then want it to be a child of window. Then have our width to be set to 10. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think we should have our score frame first. So we should have our score frame first. So we have score frame. So our score frame equals to what? Frame, right? So we have set it to be a child of the window. And the width should be equal to 10. So, so we want to pack this score frame dot pack. And part y of 10. So now we have part y of 10. What do you want to do next? Next thing we want to do is okay, score label. This should be a child of a score frame. Yes. Then we have our score label now. Dot pack. We have our score label now. Dot pack. Right. So yeah, I think this should be alright. So let's see how this is. So we can see this is our game now. And oh. We should set the text of our score label. So let's see. Let's set the text of our score label. We could remove this width and just say, okay, let's have the text equals to. Okay, we want the text to be equals to. We want it to be in this format of where we have our hex. Sorry. Where we have our x. Then zero. Then we have this. Zero. We have this two column and we have zero. Then, who? Oh, yeah, we want it to be this format. Then let's give it a font to make it look bigger and to make it look bigger and okay. So let's just say times then let's say twenty bold. So let's have this again. Okay, let's have this again. Well, I think there is an error here somewhere. Okay, where is it coming from? Oh, no option text. Oh, call label. So this should be label. So let's add this again. So we want it to be in this format now. So this is how our game is going to look like. So follow us for more videos like this. And we are going to be adding the functionalities and make it actual game. Today we are just we just designed the GUI and in, like the interface of the game. So follow us more as we add more features to this don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel code with Drex, and don't forget to like this video to someone like this thank you very much